Hey, what is going on everybody? I hope everybody's staying home, staying safe in this awful times. I know it's been a while, but we're finally here. We're, we're gonna be rolling so hard. Okay, by the way, before we start any before we start before I start the video, just wanted to say that um, I've been making quite a lot of videos on Android TVs. So in this case, I'll be showing you how you can screen mirror your iPhone to a non-Android model Samsung TV. So basically a non-Android Samsung TV. How you can all right, so uh, before we before before we start, just wanted to just wanted to you know say that uh, half of you are not actually subscribed to my channel, so I would really really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. All right, so let's just jump right into it. So the first thing you want to do on your iPhone is to make sure your iPhone is connected to some sort of connection. In in this case, I'll be using Wi-Fi. You can use mobile hotspot if you want to. You can even use a dead router without any internet connection, I swear. By the way, I'll be making a new video on that, so please make sure to subscribe. Smash, absolutely smash that uh, subscribe button. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to download a free app, iMediaShare. Trust me, one of the best apps I've used uh, on my iPhone. Definitely one of the best out there. It's it's isn't exactly like completely mirroring, which is which is fine. Honestly, at this moment, you don't really don't want to have that. I mean, I would love to have that kind of privacy, you know, uh, sitting with friends, just wanted to going out, you know, finding pictures and stuff like that without actually showing them the, all the uh, gallery and stuff. All right, so let's just jump to your TV. As you can see, I'm using a normal normal Samsung TV. This is not an Android model. Obviously, it has a Wi-Fi connection. So you have to be make sure you have to make sure your TV has some sort of uh, connection medium. It doesn't have to be Wi-Fi, by the way. It can be Ethernet cable if you want to. So just go to the connection settings, and if you have never done this before, just go to the network settings and find your Wi-Fi connection or hotspot or even your Ethernet cable. If you are using Ethernet cable, that is. All right, so I'm using Wi-Fi. My TV is connected to the uh, Wi-Fi connection, and that's pretty much it. You don't have to do anything else on your TV. Just leave it. Just leave it out. Just leave it there. Okay. Oh, by the way, yeah, you can also change your source. I mean, you don't have to change your source. By the way, I mean, obviously, you don't have to change your source. So, okay. Now, uh, on your iPhone, obviously, unlock your iPhone. Now, before we do this, just make sure your iPhone is connected to the uh, same Wi-Fi connection as your TV, yes, uh, or hotspot if you're using hotspot. So, iMediaShare is definitely one of the best out there. You can use. A picture you can use media uh, music videos you can uh, even use social media if you want to but in this just just for example I'll be using a uh, I'll be using just pictures just to show you how this actually works so uh, by the way if this does not work uh, on the first try uh, it's completely normal uh, it sometimes happens so um, just to restart the app this should work okay so once you click on any picture it will also, it will show you that there is a Simpson TV nearby so what you want to do is just click OK. Just click on your TV. It'll automatically ask you on a TV. Uh, I'm missing my clicks. <laughs> OK, there you go. All right. Once you click OK, it will show you. It will ask you for your permission if, it, if you've never done this before, obviously. So uh, yeah, I have been doing this for the first time on my TV. So just click Allow. And there you go. Voila. They should automatically. There you go. Now you can view pictures. You can, uh, you, you can enjoy quite a lot of content from your iPhone to your TV. That's completely easy. So, but by the way, if you want to close this, just uh, just close the app. That, that's probably one of the best ways you can do it. Also, you can just click on the settings and disconnect your TV if you want to, if you have other TVs or something like that. But I would suggest just close the app. You can reopen the app if you want to. So it might crashes. I mean, the app might crash. Uh, you know, for one, I mean, it doesn't really crash all the time. But if it happens, completely easy. It's completely normal. <laughs> just restart the app, redo the everything, and that's pretty much it. So. Oh, also, you don't have to worry about uh, using an older iPhone. By the way, this sh this should work with any iPhone you uh, any iPhone you can throw at it. So that's pretty much it. I hope you liked the video. Please, please subscribe. Please subscribe to the channel. This helps a lot. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Also, uh, yep, yeah, that that's pretty much it. If you if you want any help, any assistance, you can uh, comment down below or you can support me on Patreon if you want to. I'll see you in the next one.